Hey, it's Hawken with Top Don. We're just going to make a quick video here to address uh, a few things that happen from time to time with the software on your scan tool. Now, we're just going to show this on the Max, but the process is the same on all of the Pro Series tools. So, if you run into an issue with your scan tool where uh, something anomalous is happening, right? Uh, try to scan a vehicle and maybe it's not talking to any modules or uh, maybe it's not pulling the VIN correctly or, you know, anything that seems like it's malfunctioning. Uh, what we want to do is two things. Well, technically three, but we'll get there, right? So the first thing you want to do is you want to submit feedback. You always want to report any errors you have with the tool right away so the engineers can do something about this. So we're going to click on the feedback. Now we'll re rewind back so you can see that. Feedback is right here at the bottom. You'll see that same icon on all of the tools. Uh, there's a feedback option. So we'll click on feedback. It's going to say, hey, we have the log stored for the last 20 vehicles. You're going to select the brand of the vehicle you had the error with. Then you're going to select the type of feedback problem you want to submit. And you can select your log file by clicking on choose file in the top right here. So basically then we're going to say what kind of an error we had, whether it was a special function that didn't work, we couldn't access the system, or others, if it's something generic we want to report, right? So we're going to put in all the information here with regards to what the problem was. And we'll speed through this real quick here just so you can see. So the error we reported was software would not ID the vehicle correctly. So we could classify this as any number of the different bubbles on the top, but I just use others. You're going to put in your email address, and then you're going to hit Upload Log down at the bottom. And that's really all there is to it. And after you do that, that's going to go directly to the engineering team, and they will address any issues like this uh, as soon as possible. But again, it's absolutely crucial that you report these errors with the software so that the engineers can address them and resolve them. So now we're going to show you what you want to do next. So we're going to go into, and we'll rewind here so you can see, we're going to go into scan in the top left. Now again, each tool has this option, not just the Max, but scan instead of auto scan. When we go into scan, we have the option to look at all of the OE brands of software. So you'll see here, we're going to find the brand that we had the problem with. So we're going to shortcut here and click on European and scroll down until we get to Volkswagen. And then you're going to long press on the software, and it's asking you if you want to delete it, and you're going to hit yes. After you delete it, you're going to have two options. Remember I said at the beginning of the video, we're going to have basically three things you can do here. So we submit the feedback. Now we're in the Update Center. Now when we're in the Update Center, we're going to see that after we deleted the software, it's going to try to re-download the same version. Now you can start there and re-download the same version and see if it resolves the glitch. If this still does not resolve the glitch, then you want to go back and you want to try a previous version. So we could download version 10.12 or 10.10 in this case and install that and then attempt to do whatever function is broken. And there's a good chance that this will be resolved. Anytime new software gets released, whether we're talking about Diagnostic software, Windows, Macintosh, whatever it may be, when software gets released and updated, sometimes when they fix one thing over here, something over here gets broken, right? It does happen. It's reality. So if that does happen, rolling back to a previous version will oftentimes resolve an issue that you're having. Now, one other thing you can do here is if you've reinstalled the, the uh, version you had installed before, which would be 10.14, and that didn't solve it, and you've tried both previous versions here, and neither of those solved it, then you might want to try clearing the cache. Now, we're not going to show that in this video because that varies from different tool to different tool. You can certainly reach out to the Top Don support hotline in your area or region, or make a post on the Top Don users uh, Facebook group, and they will be happy to explain how to do this. But clearing the cache can also resolve anomalous issues. Uh, the firmware fix for the dongle itself can also resolve weird issues. Uh, if you're having communication issues with the dongle or the vehicle, that can often resolve those as well. So a couple other possible fixes there. So we'll just uh, speed through the remainder here so you can see. So here we've selected a previous version. We're going to go ahead and download it. And now we know uh, this is how we would roll back the software. 
But again, just to recap, we're going to submit our feedback if we have any errors with the software. We're going to long press on the software after entering into the scan menu and delete the software. And we want to do that for the parent software. So if you're doing a Chrysler uh, or a Jeep, let's say, you want to go find Chrysler and delete Chrysler, right? Uh, make sure it deletes Chrysler. Then you should see Jeep, Dodge, Chrysler, all of those should disappear from your menu. Once you delete that, then you want to go back into the Update Center, and we want to check for updates again. And after we do that, we'll have two options, right? We can either reinstall the version of software we were just using, which would be the latest update, or we can try rolling it back one or two versions in subsequent order. So we could reinstall the previous version, and if that still doesn't solve it, then we could roll it back two versions and then try it again and see if that solves it. If either of those work, awesome. If they don't, make sure uh, you have sent that feedback report so the engineers can get that fixed. And then again, to recap, if for any reason these things don't solve the problem, then we want to clear the cache, which is again, you'll find that in the settings menu on all of the tools. Make sure you have backed up all of your diagnostic reports. So email them to yourself uh, or use a USB drive to offload all your files to your uh, USB drive then clear the cache and then after you've done that run the firmware fix on the dongle and if it still doesn't resolve it reach out to us at support and we will be happy to help or again post on the facebook users group for top don uh, if you have any other questions we're always here to help and again i'm hawken and thanks for watching this video today